a tool your company can use to assess store, department, and product line profitability is Gross Margin Return on Inventory, or GIMROI. GIMROI is a percentage you can calculate using your sales and inventory numbers to determine what your margin is for every dollar you invest in products. You can calculate GIMROI by dividing your gross margin dollar value by your at-cost inventory value, and then multiplying that number by 100. The higher your GIMROI is, the higher your profits are. On average, a typical hardware store's gross margin return on inventory is 134.1%. A high profit store's GIMROI is 198.1%. That means a high profit hardware store is earning 64 cents more per dollar on its inventory investment than an average store is. How can you use GIMROI to improve your margins? Let's look at an example for some ideas. Michael Connolly, owner of Connolly's Do It Best Hardware and Rental in Fort Wayne, Indiana, operates four stores. He looks at the GIMROI numbers for each store every month and breaks those percentages down by department. He conveniently pulls the numbers from his point of sale system. The numbers show Connolly how his stores are doing compared to industry averages. The data also show how profitable his investment in inventory is by allowing him to compare numbers from month to month, as well as compare department's performance to each other. If Connolly notices Gimroy numbers that are decreasing, or he can see that some departments aren't performing well, he can take a look at pricing his product mix, inventory turns, and the amount of dead stock he has. Gimroy is the starting point each month for him to reassess his product mix. For example, Connolly started with Gimroy data when he decided to look at whether he was stocking a larger variety of tape measures than he needed. He realized, when giving his assortment a closer look, that he was carrying many duplicates of the same tape measure that were made by different manufacturers. By assessing his tape measure inventory, he found that he could replace some name brand tape measures with private label brands, which earn him higher margins. He was also able to decrease the number of different tape measures he stocked, while keeping a similar variety of sizes and price points and the must-have items from popular brands. Those changes have helped improve sales while cutting back on his inventory investment. In addition, Connolly's assortment looks neater and is easier for customers to shop because they aren't confused by a vast array of nearly identical products. Connolly's orders are also easier to make because his stores are stocking a smaller number of items. And he can order ahead better because he can buy larger quantities of fewer products. Plus, Connolly has made his employees' jobs more efficient. The workers don't have to keep track of or display as many different products. How can you use Gimroy to evaluate the performance of your product assortments?